What's up, everyone? It is your girl, Gel Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today we're going to get into my current favorite makeup products. So, I got quite a few to talk about because it's me and we know I'm long winded. So, let's get into it, girl, because there's a whole lot of stuff sitting around me. I want to start off with a fragrance, though, because I don't normally like talk about fragrances, but I have these two fragrances I've been layering together that I actually like a lot. They currently went up. They recently went on sale at Ulta. They had a one day only fragrance sale. And like I like both these and I um been layering them together. So what I'll do is I I should tell you what they offer. I have Born Dreamer by Charlie D'Amelio. I heard she's a girl on TikTok. I don't know, I've never watched. But as you can see, I've been using this perfume a lot. If you can't see. I really like it and then I had got this one a long time ago because Andrea Renee was raving about how nice it was they had it on clearance on Sephora's website so that's the reason I have a full size y'all know I don't buy full size I buy travel size and just try a whole bunch of different ones and then whichever one I truly truly love and find myself buying more than one travel size of I'll go ahead and get a full size of but I've been layering these so what I do is I put um Born Dreamer from Charlie D'Amelio on the bottom and then I put the Secret Garden, sorry, Secret Genius from Penrose on the top. And that's how I've been layering these scents. And I think it smells amazing. Like, oh my God, girl. I can smell the scent linger on me all day. I smell it on my clothes the next day and everything. Like, because this combination, honey, this combination is amazing. The sad part is they don't have a travel size of this. So it's like you're forced to buy the full size of this. So... It depends on if you'd like the scent of this or not, whether you should get it. But, like, I definitely recommend Secret Genius. If you like vanilla scents like I do, you will definitely like Secret Genius. That's the reason I ended up buying it because Andrea Renee said it was a um, vanilla fragrance in it. And I was like, say less. Y'all know I live for anything that's vanilla. So, I will take it. Thank you so much. So, let's get into these primers. So, I've been using the Cali Ray Soul Blown Clean Blurring Primer with Collagen Peptides. I really like this primer. This is one of my favorite ones that I like to use to erase pores and, you know, like give you that clean, smooth base on the face that um, everybody has or likes to have. So, I definitely have been using this a lot. I love it. I love the texture of it. I love how it goes on the skin. It feels a little bit cooling, but, you know, it, it just makes the makeup look bomb so i have to use it a lot and of course the other one i feel like you should be no surprise it's my glow recipe strawberry bha pore smooth blur drops i love using these i'll use these in the day seven that i told y'all i'll use the strawberry um serum that they have for um nighttime or for your skin for the dark spots and clarifying at night so i feel like these are match made in heaven that's why i like to use this in the daytime and then you want to add to my skincare at night it's honey Honey, this is amazing. If you have dark spots and um, want to retexturize and have smoother skin, I definitely recommend you use this alongside the strawberry one. I've noticed a different, huge difference in the change of my skin, and I am so here for it. So, like, yeah, I definitely recommend you try it out, girl. Just make sure you're using your sunscreen, too, because if you're not, then the progress is going to just go out the door, even though you like, been putting in the work. So, make sure you're putting on the sunscreen, girl. So, now let's get into some correctors so one of these correctors i've been using with the um concealer in particular so i'm going to do that one last but um i have the rare beauty what is it under eye um it's so small but no you can under eye brightener in the shade medium deep so i love this stuff i re recommended this during the sale if i remember correctly because i really like this product it has this nice um metal cooling wand on it and it just does an excellent job with color correcting underneath the eyes i feel like whoever like picks out her color um her colors and tones does a pretty good job now i'm not in crazy about the shade of the bronzers and the extended shades i feel like they should have did like rihanna made us a yellow tone one for people my skin tone so that's the only grab i have with the brand when it comes to the bronzers but the formula is wonderful and you'll see it in here in a few minutes because i've been trying to like use it up i don't plan on buying another one though i'm just gonna use the rest of my cream bronzer but i did like it enough to put in this video so when we get to that part you'll see it but back to this i love this if you don't like the ones that are in a pot or you're not necessarily crazy about the next one I'm going to show you because it's in like a squeezy tube that you have to rub underneath the eye. And I definitely feel like you'll like this because it's nice to, with a wand. You can go underneath there rub it in real quick. I know some people like the Becca one. Becca just came out with one for me recently. So, you know, like I haven't experienced it that. I like the fact that she came out initially with shades for everyone. But I feel like her brand is really inclusive like Rihanna's brand. So, you know, and I feel like she's actually passionate and cares about it. And I feel like it shows in the products that she comes out. So, the next combination I have is... These two. So believe it or not, I've been using this Rim Beauty Concealer. If y'all remember when I first had it, I did not like it. I felt like it was kind of stiff and it wasn't doing that great. I have the Chay Tan 6W. This is what it looks like on the inside. It kind of gives the honey mustard vibes of the um, color corrector I use with it. So I give the ultimate brightening underneath the eyes when I need that sort of thing. So this is the Rihanna Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I have the shade Honey Mustard 11. So I was saying that if you don't like 
the fact that you have this like little ball that you have to squeeze underneath the eyes to um, put on, then you might um, like the rare beauty one better because it's a wand. With this, you have to squeeze underneath the eyes. So what I do is I squeeze it underneath the eyes, like one little line underneath each side. Then I'll dip in with my concealer brush into this and this blend both of them together to get the brightness underneath the eyes that I want. And then y'all know I use like a yellow brightening powder underneath the eyes to make sure I get all the brightness underneath it that I need. And hopefully you don't see them dark circles. Because girl, y'all know I still don't be getting them out of sleep I need. But I've been loving that combination. I don't know what took me so long to buy that product other than like I didn't necessarily see a need for it at the time. But I feel like now that I'm getting less and less sleep, I feel like, or maybe just in my mind I'm getting less and less sleep, I, you know, want to have... A color corrector of sorts so i got a whole bunch of concealers girls but um i'll do these foundations first and then we'll get into these concealers and these powders so i'll get the one that i broke out the way so i got my tom ford traceless soft matte foundation so as you can see my top is missing that's supposed to turn it up and down what ended up happening was i had forgot that this was a twist top and i was getting ready for work and i was in a rush so i was trying to pull the top off and i literally did pull it off but now it doesn't do the twisting motion that it's supposed to you know twist up and down to make it look cool but that's okay the product still comes out and it still works and for 90 dollars, i'm not gonna go buy another one just because it won't twist up and down but I've been using this a lot because uh, y'all know when I bought that concealer, I was using this foundation to go with it. And I've still been using it quite a bit because I really love this foundation. It just looks trace, well, it looks like flawless and traces like they say on the skin. It looks like skin, but it gives the coverage that I need. And that's what I like about it. But for 90 bucks, it should be giving the coverage that you need, you know, because, you know, she's expensive one there. Um, I got a foundation combination that I've been using that I really enjoy. I told y'all I was mixing the Burberry foundation because there's only one shade deep in the mind in it. And I have the shade 120 Deep Warm that I mix the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation in with it. It's the shade 21W. I don't like this foundation on its own necessarily, but I do like mixing with this one. So to me, this is more of a mixer foundation for me. Like when I first tried it, I liked it okay, but with all the other formulas that came out since it, it was just like okay to me. It wasn't exceptional. So mixing both of these together has been a match made in heaven for me. I love the color. I love the tone. It gets like that natural skin look. And since this one matches my skin tone a little bit better, obviously it works in better with this one. To me, this is more of my winter shade, and this is more of like um my um shade for now into the summer so mixing these together is just perfect for me and i've been doing it quite a bit and loving it now y'all know i still don't necessarily recommend this one just because there's one other shade deeper than mine and i wasn't necessarily crazy about that so there's that i got a couple skin tints for y'all so how about that so one of them doesn't give that much coverage but my concealer makes up for the coverage and since the finish is just that amazing that look blurred and natural and wonderful and all y'all commented on and talked about how nice my foundation my sorry my skin tint looked when i wore it this is the fenty um beauty ease drops blurring skin tint i have the shade 20 i was um using these and then i just used that combination of the uh, what is it the rim beauty concealer and the rihanna honey mustard drop and that concealer gives pretty decent coverage and then i just put like a cream concealer on top of sorry a liquid concealer on top of that cream concealer when i get ready to do like the rest of my face to make sure i get enough coverage in these areas because y'all know i have a lot of dark spots there they're starting to fade but they haven't faded yet so i need the coverage so the finish on this is just so beautiful and nice so i was like okay i'll go ahead and you know like um get it because i got a sample and i really liked it so i've been using this quite a bit and i feel like i'm gonna be using it quite a bit more just have to make sure i build up the coverage and once my skin is pretty good then i won't have to like worry about buying the skin tints and the bbs and the cc's and it not necessarily working out for me so that's why i've um kind of been dabbling in them a little bit now that i've noticed my skin is starting to get better okay um i got a couple of drugstore foundations to show y'all so i've been acting my thread beauty stick again as y'all can see mine as well love the plastic is cracked off it um that's how much i have left like the, the it's at the end of the rope i have it twisted up to the top and i have that much left so i will definitely buy another one of these this is a good like i need to get to work quick rub it on the face and go and i know that it's gonna blend out look amazing and wonderful so i love this stick i feel like this brand is not raving about enough it's absolutely wonderful and you need to go get your hands on it now so go grab it now. Oh, I lied, y'all. I got three drugstore foundations. It was one laying on the side. So let me talk about that one since I know the last one for sure. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Natural Radiant Foundation. I love this stuff. I wear the shade Burkina, if I remember correctly. Is that what it says? I'm 
I'm trying to find a sticker. Yeah, I wore the shade Burkini in this foundation. The only thing is, um, it took a while to get it out because it's full of, I guess, air from when they put the product in here. This is a great product that was made in Italy. I feel like it's kind of high for our foundation. That's supposed to be from a more affordable brand, if you will, because I think this is like $23 or $28, and I thought that was kind of high. I was like, ooh, Lord. I mean, it looks nice. And it looks like it's not a affordable brand foundation. So I guess that's why, you know, they're charging that price point. But y'all know Juvia's Place always be having sales and cold. So you can get this on a deal. I don't know if this is on sale during the Sephora haul. Sorry, the uh, spring haul from Ulta right now. I know their eye stuff is and their, some of their face stuff. But I don't know if this foundation was included. If it is, girl, go grab it. I love how I'm saying it like y'all about to see this video today. But, I mean, go grab it. This foundation is amazing. It's better than the original one. That one was quite cakey and thick on the skin and sad heavy. This one definitely is a more nice your skin but better but still gives good coverage. And that's always my thing. I need good coverage. It needs to be at least medium coverage because if it's not, I don't want it. And this definitely does that. I feel like you can build this up to possibly a full depending on, you know, like what products you use with it. But I love it and I have been using it quite a bit. Okay, so now we're on the last foundation for real. And this isn't supposed to be a foundation, it's supposed to be a skin tint, but it gives like medium coverage if it's supposed to be a skin tint. This is the, what is it, Blur, the Bear With Me Blur Medium Coverage Matte Blurring Finish um, Skin Tint, or sorry, Blurring Tint Foundation. It's in the shade Deep Bronze 20. I usually wear the shade Deep Golden 19, but if you all remember when I went to go pick up the, I think I went to go pick up the Juvia's Place in store. I went to go pick up something in store at Ulta and I ended up finding this and I just got it because it was like one shade deeper, but it wasn't that big a deal to me. And I feel like this will work out nicely for me in the summertime. And then when I use it up, I might get shade 19 or I might just you know like stick with the Fenty one it depends on how I feel but I feel like this is a great drugstore skin tint that gives a good medium coverage and again that's my thing I need coverage it could be a skin tint but it still needs to be giving me coverage and this definitely does that and it has a decent uh, amount of shades and it does a pretty good job it does a pretty comfortable job to the Fenty one I feel like the Fenty one is a little more glowy and just a tad bit more blurring but otherwise I feel like this is a good alternative for it so, if you don't want to spend Fenty prices and you missed the 30% off sale she had and you're not rouge, you might want to look into that product instead. Now, let's get into these concealers, girls, because I got a few. So, I'll start off with the expensive ones and then we'll work our way down to the more affordable black-owned brand ones. So, I'm going to start off with the Tom Ford one because it's the most expensive one. I tried this one recently. This is the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Concealer. I wear the shade 5W0 Tan, so it's 5 Warm Olive Tan. I've been using this quite a bit, believe it or not. So what I'll do is I'll put this underneath the eyes to start off with. When I start my routine after I put on my primer, uh, kind of like an underpainting type thing with the concealer. And then I use the um, liquid concealer on top in the same shade. And it just looks stunning. I like to use this when I mix the Burberry foundation with the Makeup by Mario. And these are the concealers I like to use with it. Or with the Tom Ford um, foundation and just the Tom Ford concealers on their own. I just ordered the Tom Ford primer during the sale because that stuff is amazing. And But there was no way I was paying 90 bucks just for a primer with as many primers I had. I just showed you two primers I really love and they're both in the $30 range. So I was like, the only way I'm getting this is during the sale. So I did, but I, I would recommend this during the sale if you don't mind the underpainting and the light coverage of it because I still have to use other stuff with it. If you're a person who likes light coverage underneath the eyes and you don't have dark circles and things like that to deal with, I feel like you would like this concealer, but you know, like... I had to buy it for review purposes and so I had to find another way to utilize it because it doesn't like meet my personal needs. Next I have the Valentino concealer. Y'all know I was getting this. I love Valentino. This is the very Valentino. I believe it's called Hydrating 24 Hour Concealer or something to that extent. But underneath here it just says very Valentino concealer. I wore the shade DA2. Honey, this is a really thin formula, so if you need a lot of coverage, you shouldn't look for this one. To me, this is more like one I use for highlighting the inner corner of the eye to get brightness in here and highlight down the middle of my face. But for actual coverage underneath the eyes, I wouldn't necessarily do this unless I'm doing the underpainting that I talked to you about. Because otherwise, I feel like I won't have enough coverage. But I still love it. I still a great product. It has a unique doe foot to it that has like a weird dip to it. Let me show you. See, y'all? It's like this weird dip that's I guess it's supposed to dip perfectly underneath the eye for you and that's why it's made like that I'm not sure maybe it's just to get people talking about it and sh showing it off in the video but it's a good product and it's reasonably priced for a luxury brand concealer but I mean considering the size of it I guess it wouldn't necessarily be considered that but since I buy a lot of luxury makeup to me it's a more affordable option okay so next 
I y'all remember I wasn't really crazy about this concealer when I first got it. I'm telling y'all the Hydro Grip Eye Primer and like concealer primer just you know ruined the brand for me for a while. So like whenever I try something, I'm just like be scared and halfway liking it. But I have this concealer that they came out with. What is this called? The Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. I have the shade 20 Olive. So it's just a nice little um, olive shade. It has this weird, like, I guess, pear-shaped um, applicator to it. It's a really nice product. It does a really good job. I was using this a lot for a little while. I'll use this with the Tom Ford as well. You put the Tom Ford underneath, obviously, and then I would put this one on top when I need coverage because it does a good job with coverage. I like the um, undertone of it, and um, it's a really good product. So I have been reaching for it quite a bit. Some stuff I've just been reaching for, trying to use up. Some stuff I've just been like obsessed with and can't put down. So it's a combination of the both of those. But I have been enjoying all of them, which is good. It's not like I'm just forcing myself to use them, use them up, and not buy them again. So I'm liking the fact that that's not the case. Y'all know this minty concealer is going to be in here. Because how many years did we beg this brand for this concealer? It was going to be in this video, girl. Because I waited 100 years for them to come out with it. Okay? Or at least it feels like 100 years. I have the minted full-time brightening concealer i have the shade ceo i love this shade i love the formula of this i think this is a gorgeous concealer and it's an amazing price if i remember correctly this is like an 18 dollars concealer and uh, honey it's giving it's giving all of what i need and it was definitely worth the wait because i i was i have been waiting so needless to say i wasn't gonna not use this because i have been waiting so long for them to make it that one i just used on its own though i don't feel like um it would necessarily pair well with the Tom Ford one because that's more of an olive undertone and I feel like that has more of a yellow undertone to it so I feel like they wouldn't work out that well. Then of course I have the Thread Beauty Concealer to match the foundation. This is Thread Beauty Covered Multi-Use Complexion Fluid. I have the shade Medium Golden Brown 07. I want one that's a little bit lighter because I feel like this one's a little bit too close to my skin tone but I've been making it work. When I went in the store like the color, the color selection I didn't feel like was that great from um, what I had to choose from but obviously they weren't gonna have the whole range in store so maybe I need to go on Threads website and I can find a better color but like my foundation shade I know was sold out and I need another one of those so I'm hoping when I go back another time they'll have it cuz honey y'all saw this little foundation stick like it looks poor and sad and I'm almost done with it I need another one I wear the shade 130 medium warm golden in the foundation if I forgot to say cuz I feel like I did but I said the shades everything else. So when that came back around, I was like, let's go ahead and do it. So let's get into these powders now. I have six powders I have to talk about. Of course, I've been using the new Makeup Forever powder. I left it in the bathroom though. Sorry, not the new one, the old Makeup Forever powder. So I've just been using up my old ones that I have in my collection. I left the new one put away because it seems like it's a darker shade than the one I originally had. And since they changed the numbering system, I wasn't sure which one to get. I swatched that one in store and it looked pretty decent, but y'all know how to lighten this since before. It still worked out pretty nicely because I can use it as the summer version of the powder for me to use on my skin. So I didn't worry about returning it because I could make it work. But I've been using the original one in the shade Y505 before they reformulated and took the talc out. And I've been loving it. I've literally been using it like every day, y'all, to set my face. Because lately I've been into more like press powders as opposed to loose powders i just said i don't want to have some of the mess when i can just pick up a brush and pat it in and go so that's what i've been doing so let me get into the other two foundation powders i've been using since i started talking about the foundation powders and then i will get into um the under eye powders because i have three pressed ones of those as well right now i'm just into the press powder life i'm not really feeling the um loose powder so i have the one size turn up the base and versatile powder sorry foundation powder i wear the shade dark four golden y'all know if patrick star makes a powder i will buy it so this is what it looks like it matches my skin tone very nicely it is a very nice powder shout out to my girl stephanie or bath beauty here on youtube she had talked about this powder and i had seen it came out but for some reason i just wasn't rushing to get it but during the last sephora sale i think it was the one like around my birthday or was it the bonus no i think it was the bonus one they gave us in december for us to buy gifts and whatnot i um went ahead and got this one and i have been using it on and off periodically but i've been using it pretty regularly right now so i wanted to go ahead and shout it out it's a gorgeous powder and i'm happy to have it in my collection another one i've been using believe it or not it's a drugstore one i've been trying to get into the drugstore stuff a little bit more because i do buy it from time to time and i do find some gems there every now and again so this is more an affordable one though not necessarily drugstore this is the juvia's place what is it? I am magic foundation powder. 
in the shade Burkina. And both of these products were made in Italy. The Juju Place Foundation. So they stepped up the game. Because I don't think the first ones were made in Italy. It was a really thick formulation. The concealer was really good though. And I still like that concealer to this day. So that is a drugstore concealer I definitely recommend. Besides, you know, some other drugstore concealers. Like the Thread one and the um, Elf one. Which I'm actually wearing right now. But I really love this powder foundation. I wear Burkina in both shades though. As you can see, she is well loved. I don't know if you can see that dip that's in there. But I have definitely got a little dip in the middle of the pan here because I've been using it pretty regularly. So I like to use this with more um, dewy S looking foundations because it's luminous. And then I'll do a lot of mattifying setting sprays to like, you know, set it in so it can still have its luminous moment. But I can still protect my face from getting oily and crazy looking. So that's those. Now let's get into the three powders for underneath the eyes. So I'm starting off the most bougie one of all. So I've been using my Chantecaille Perfect Blur Finishing Powder in the shade Medium Deep. Now y'all remember when I first got this, I did not like it. I guess because it takes so much to pick up on the pan that it's really hard for me to get into and use. But I had bought it on a sale because um, Teresa's dad was raving about it. And I've been liking it as you can see. It has a nice... I don't know if y'all can see the little dip. Yeah, it's a nice little dip there as you can see right up in here. Because I've been using it quite a bit. So, um, I'm hoping to hit pan by the end of the year. Unfortunately, my girl on um, Babs Beauty said she didn't necessarily like it. I picked it up, I want to say like about a year ago. And I've been using it from time to time. And it's been growing on me for underneath the eyes. I wouldn't dare try to put this all over my face. But it reminded me of the Pat McGrath color that I was initially putting underneath my eyes. So, she came out with her yellow powder. So, I was like, let me go ahead and try it out. And I finally found a place where I like it, but it's just so hard pressing the pan that it took a while for me to like it because it took a while to pick up the product and press it in to make it look the way I wanted to. Of course, y'all know it's gonna have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Complexion, what is it? Complexion Perfecting Eye Plus Face Micro Powder. I have the shade Tan Deep. So, this is what it looks like. This is nice yellow powder. I feel like it has a little bit of glitter to it, but there's a nice little dip in this as well. I've really been enjoying, like, my pressed powder moments. I'm thinking about decluttering some of my um, actual setting powders just because I've been reaching for pressed ones as well. But I really like this. Next, I have the NARS one. I Again, I'm telling y'all, I've really been loving these yellow powders. This is the Soft Matte advanced perfecting powder i have the shade bay i don't have the shade that matches my face i have the one for underneath my eyes so this is what it looks like it's just a nice yellow brightening powder for underneath the eyes it gives a great soft matte look i feel like this is going to be a go-to one for me in the summertime so that's because i'm gonna have to set this area in particular because this is the area of my face that is the oiliest and this matte powder should definitely do trick along with my setting sprays so i guess i'll do my setting spray and then we'll get into the blush bronzes and highlighters because I only have one setting spray. I feel like you should know which one it is. What did I do with it? Oh, it's sitting behind me. So, I got the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. So, um, I was watching too much mouse video on the Sephora sale. Because she was saying she's going on vacation. And so, she's trying to get the travel size of this. They don't make a travel size in this. For some reason, they just came up with a full size. And you can get a travel size. Because I was going to try to buy this travel size in this just for my video but i had to get the big one in order to give you all the review so she uh, <clears throat> she was pissed because the girl told her they had a mini and then she put <laughs> she sold it to her and then she got home went in her bag and found out it was just the primer it wasn't the setting spray so i went on her conversation i'm like girl they don't make that in no small because i was trying to buy it when it first came out in the small it was not having her. i'm like she sent you off y'all because <laughs> she like for real sent off by giving her the primer or either she wasn't educated on the products that um they sell in her store which i don't understand because it's like if you works for sephora my friend he used to be a manager of sephora so i'm pretty sure they educate them on the new things coming in the store he said they have huddles and stuff like that to like you know talk about stuff like that so i don't know how she was misinformed that's why i think she just sent her off but you know to each his own um but i've really been enjoying this setting spray i think i've used like half of it up so far as so i tell you how much i enjoy i'm gonna try to hold out and um make sure i don't use it up too much though because y'all know summer is coming and i want to definitely put it to the test with summer and since it's always selling out during this it's already sold out during the sale i need to be preserving it not using it up so i'll probably be using more of my shard sorry shard till about it setting spray and a couple of other ones i have like the cover of x one is really good and the smashbox one is really good both of them are like gray containers or whatever and they do a good job of holding oils down too so i'll probably use those for now and then when summertime comes we'll test this one out for sure and see how it's really working although on that 
day that it was 84 here in Chicago, I probably should have tried it then. Now, I don't necessarily agree with them saying that it blurs a whole lot. I feel like I have to do the pressing method that I do with my setting spray to see the blurring effect of it. I don't feel like just spraying it gives me a blurring effect like I feel like they you would expect it to because it's a setting spray and people don't usually press their setting spray into the skin like I do. So just keep that in mind when it comes to the blurring claim of it. I do feel like it does a good job when it comes to the mattifying claim though. Now that one I 100% agree with. But with the blurring one, not so much. Unless you're going to press it into the skin like me, girl, don't be expecting it to be blurring your, your sins away because it ain't doing it. Um, <laughs> now we're going to get to the blushes, the bronzes, and the highlights. I don't have that many blushes. Um, let me see. Yeah, I have four blushes. Well, technically three because I got two from two different brands. And then I got one single on its own. I got um, about three or four highlighters and I got some lip products. So we're almost at the end. I got only have, I think, three eyeshadow palettes and two eyeliners. One of the palettes I had took home, so I'm not going to show it here. Plus, I haven't been using it that often, but let's get into it. So these liquid blushes from Alamar Cosmetics. I am obsessed. I have the shade I See You Later and Frezza A Daisies. Frezza's A Daisy? Like Oops A Daisies? But anyway, I love these blushes. I don't know why I was sleeping on these blushes for so long. I guess it's because I don't really like use cream blush that often. I think that's why I was kind of sleeping on it. Like, oh, okay, that's nice, you know, vibe or whatever. But I wasn't like crazy about it. Like, yes, I need it type thing because, you know. I don't really use cream blush that often, but these cream blushes, honey, these cream blushes are worth it and they're only 20 bucks and you get more product than Miss Charlotte Tilbury and there are more colors to it. Just keep in mind these are luminous blushes so you're going to have to set them with a powder blush in order to make them work, but otherwise I feel like it's definitely um, worth it to own them, but you know, um, Definitely check them out. I got mine during a 30% off sale because the owner turned 30 this year. And I was happy to grab them because, honey, they were definitely giving. They were definitely giving. They were definitely giving. So, next I have this one I recently picked up. This is the Gen New, the Bare Minerals Gin New Powder Blush, and but first coffee. This is just the perfect, like, I don't know what blush to put on. I need to rush out the door blush because, honey, it's definitely giving my skin tone but better in a blush. And I feel like every girl needs that. So I'm happy that um, I never would have thought that it would be Bare Minerals that did this. But, you know, like, it's definitely giving a my skin but better blush. Like, when I put this on, when I have to rush and I don't know what blush to use. Because sometimes you don't want a peach or sometimes you don't want necessarily, like, a pink or a berry tone. Like, you just want something simple that um, works for your skin tone. And this is definitely that blush for me. So I'm so happy I picked this up during the sale. And shout out to... Um, Coco swatches because she's the one that made me think about doing stuff like that. Aside from the fact that I wanted to see if it was going to be a, like if um, Always Spicy was going to be a good alternative. It was going to be a, a good alternative for Always Spicy from e.l.f. But that's primer infused. But I feel like the colors are somewhat similar. I feel like that one's just a tad bit deeper than this one is. But that's okay because when I want a little bit of deeperness for the summertime, I can wear Always Spicy. And during the um, fall and winter months when I'm a little bit lighter, I can use this one for first coffee. And they'll both work out. So... I'm happy to have those in my collection. Now, y'all know we wasn't going to be able to not put in these blushes from House Labs. Honey, I have been using Watermelon Bliss like a crazy person. I haven't been using Dragon Fruit Haze that often. But, honey, Watermelon Bliss has been getting work put in. Do you hear me? I think this is such a stunning shade. You all saw I rushed to the store and grabbed these the day they came out. Honey, I, they were giving... They're still giving. I'm thinking about getting Hibiscus Haze. They still have it in store at the store where I am. I know um, Babs Beauty said that she got that shade. But I'm thinking about waiting to the fall sale to get that shade and then the berry tone one. Because I feel like those are shades I wear more during that time. And I feel like the ones I got now are the ones I wear in the spring and summer. So I tried to make sure I got the right shade. I've been using this one from time to time. Although this looks like one of those... Um, cool tone pinks this is a cool tone pink i feel like actually works good on people my skin tone let me swatch it so you can see what i'm talking about if you didn't watch my video just ran across my current favorites video but see this doesn't get that white ashiest cast that i feel like some other pinks like this do like the dior pink does i feel like that one gives that ashiest type cast to it and i have to put other things with it to make it work like i feel like i would have to put a cream darker pink underneath and just put the dior one on top whereas with this one i could just put it on my face and it'll look fine. And a lot of y'all told me in the video what I did them. You were like, you were shocked it worked too. And I'm like, girl, so was I. Because I was like, okay, let me find out 
Miss um Miss Gaga is out here making stuff for everybody because when her first line first came out, like I wasn't hearing amazing things about it. But I'm loving this really um brand with Sephora that she did because I feel like the products are a million times better than what I tried from her original brand. Her original brand, the bronze was just okay, the highlighter was just okay, but these new formulas, honey, they're giving. Next, I have the rare beauty stick. I told y'all I was just trying to use this up. I have the shade full of life, and I have successfully used it up because look y'all is that the little plastic at the end where I, when i have to take a brush and like get out the product because she's just at the very end like look at it like i can't i can't roll it up anymore girl look i'm rolling it down i can't roll it up anymore i'm we're rolling and nothing is happening so i have successfully used this product up i'm not gonna try to scrape this across my face to get it out i might take a brush and use it from time to time so i'll probably leave it here just to kind of use it as my finishing up thing but I wouldn't mind purchasing it again if she comes out with a color that's not so red, but I'm trying to decide if during the sale I should get it then because it's like I would use it then, not in the fall, obviously, because I told y'all I don't like to use red bronzers during the fall and the winter. I like to use them during the um, summertime. So since I use this one up now, um, I'm debating on if I want to get another one or not. But since it's so affordable, I figure I can just wait. Plus, I have the LYS one and some other brands. So I'll probably just skip. But it is a good formula and it is a good product. Just keep in mind it's going to run red tone. And if you don't like red tone bronzers, then it's not for you. Next, of course, y'all know I had to put Mother's bronzers in here. Even though I've only used them like three times. But just because we asked Mother for this for so long, when she finally did it, I was like, it's going in this video. You did Say what you want. Call me a cheater. That's fine. But it was going in here. I have on the shade bronze mahogany right now. I set it over the um, new contours from Elf Cosmetics. I have on the new Elf stuff on my face right now if anyone cares. So this is the one I have on now. Bronze mahogany. This is the deepest shade that it comes in. I don't like the fact that Sephora doesn't carry all the shades. Like the shade Burnish Honey that I prefer to use. That I'm going to use a lot during the summer from Mother. Like they don't carry this shade. I went on there and checked. They did not have this shade. So they have the deepest one and then some other shades. So it's like, for people that are my skin tone and actually use this during the summer, you can't buy it from Sephora during the sale. You have to buy other shades. So I, I don't necessarily like that they don't have all the shades. But, I mean, I guess they picked the ones that they thought would sell the best for the demographics of people that shop there. But I don't see how you missed out on Burnished Honey when this, I'm sure, is one that would be quite popular. Unless they were just thinking about our summer shade because, like, summertime is coming. I, I don't know what the thought process behind it was, but I personally wasn't feeling it. I, I don't appreciate it at all. Moving on. Next, we're going to do some highlighters. So, I have four highlighter formulas I've been using. So... Of course, y'all know Miss Shaw the Tilla Better is going to be in here as much as this thing costs, y'all. These are $48 a piece, so I was, we're going to get my coins worth out of it. Do you hear me? <laughs> yeah, so I, this is the shade Rose Gold Glow. I use this one a lot. I barely use the Bronze Glow. This is my favorite one, but I, I've told y'all in the past I like Rose Gold Highlighter, so I was happy that she came out with a Rose Gold Highlighter, so this is the one I definitely reach for. I like to mix it with like the Rim Beauty one that I'm about to show y'all now, or I'll mix it with the Rare Beauty one. I didn't bring that shade with me, but I'll mix it with another highlighter to get more of a pinkish undertone to it, because I like the rose in it, but I feel like it's more bronzy rose, not like a traditional pinky-ish roll so i use the shade miss uranus i um like the color of this a lot and i feel like she actually has a really decent highlighter formula i don't know what's going on her brand though because if you notice they haven't launched anything in forever i don't know if it's because she's dealing with that whole former situation because she went with former brands to come out with her brand unlike the other celebrities who went with four and that's what's going on i have no idea but um her highlighter formula is really nice her lipstick formula is really nice her um Setting spray was okay, and her concealer, I found a way to work for it. So I've tried a couple of things from the brand, and I was liking them. The gel um, um, eyeshadows are actually pretty nice as well. So she had a few little bangers here and there that I liked. I didn't try her lip liners, but this is a mixer highlighter for me. I usually don't wear it on its own. I always mix it with other pink highlighters in my collection. It's just something I like to do. Next, of course, I have the Rare Beauty highlighter. I have the shade Flown It, and then I have... I think it's mesmerized is like the um, rose goldish pinky looking shade she has, but flaunt is the one that was in my bathroom. So I just grabbed the one that went in the bathroom and went to come over here to make this video. So I really like the shade. I think she's a cute little nice shade. You know, does a 
good job it's a quite a bright highlight but once you spray the face and press it into the skin the way i do it calms down quite a bit but if you're a person who just puts it on just be prepared to have the extra bling and glitter situation going on because it's it's definitely giving that it's not giving subtle it's giving bam in your face type moment um next i have the natasha Denona pastel plexi glow highlight i've actually been using this quite a bit again this is one i mix in like i'll mix the rear i'm sorry the rim beauty with this one as well sometimes when i want that pink underglow that um they have they said could possibly come from this but it just ended up being a champagne glow highlighter but that's okay i'm fine with it i like the coloring on this i think it's stunning and i'm happy to have it in my collection so you know Sorry, y'all. These cars keep getting full, and I got one car just left at home. My computer is a whole, girl, it's a whole thing. Anyway, so let's get into um my um eye products. Wait, no, let's do the lips, and then I do the eyes last, cause I don't have that many eye products, believe it or not. And I left them over there on the bed like a loopy. Um, okay, so of course y'all know that the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow lip colors are going to be in here. The ones I have used the most because these are the two I initially bought are the shade Caramel and Baby Coral. If you saw my short, then you know I found a dupe for this shade. I'm going to go through the rest of the shades I got over the weekend and see if I can find a dupe for those. And then if I can, then I'll film a video on which shades I found in my collection that are dupes for them so you don't have to go out and buy these shades necessarily. But, um... I've been loving the shade Karma and Baby Coral. I love like a nice nude that matches my skin tone somewhat. And then um, I love a nice um, peachy, corally type lip color. So both of these are fire. I have on the shade Soft Nude right now, believe it or not. It started fading away though because you got to think I've been filming videos for quite a while now. But honey, these are definitely giving. Definitely picked them up during the sale. I feel like everyone is and that's why they're hard to get because... I went to my store to get a whole bunch of them and like they kept selling out in and out of stock in the store so i was just like okay look here stop playing with me next i have i guess i'll get all the like glowy-ish type things out of the way because i only have one soft matte like liquid lipstick next i have the um give beauty um i think that's what it's called give beauty bubble elect sorry bubble pop electric lip glosses i have the shade sweet tooth here this is my favorite shade out of all of them when it comes to liquid lipsticks my favorite shade i think is camel or flannel anyway that's this lip gloss these lip glosses are amazing i love these lip glosses i recently used the shade candy on my lips but i just love the form of these and when i think of a lip gloss besides the makeup by mario's one right now i think about these now i bought this next thing during the 21 days of beauty sale at ulta and i'm wishing i had bought more shades but i didn't know how the formula was going to be so i was like let me not because these are the makara juice lip pump lipsticks from or lip glosses i guess from tarte i heard people raving about this but i was like i don't know the shade without the sticker is the shade poppy it's a nice red shade and then i got peachy beige i try to get primrose because y'all know i love a like mauve tone lip moment but they weren't they had missed it in store when i went to go pick it up i guess they picked someone else's order before mine and it wasn't there so i ended up not being able to get it but you know it's cool or whatever i am happy i have those two and if they ever go on sale again i'm gonna buy some more i'm gonna be checking for qvc now shout out to my girl beauty deals bff aka amy she posts when they have deals on those and i'll definitely be looking into it now that i have tried the formula and know for myself how banging it is you know sometimes you be hearing stuff is banging from other people but it's like you want to try it for yourself and make sure that it's banging for you so that's what i did and now i'm gonna be on the hunt for them because they definitely look amazing on the lips um next i have these about face paint painted lip colors so i have two shades i've had the shade slumber for a while the new shade that i got during their sale at ulta during 21 days of beauty was sad song i love her lipsticks i think she makes nice colors i like the formula of these and i like her lip liners as well i've only used i think one shade though it was like a reddish shade i used and it looks really nice and the formula was really nice on it kind of reminded me of the color pop and like the kkw and the kylie um lip formula when it came to like the way it glided on the lips or whatever but it was a nice formula the liquid lipsticks are nice so if you were interested in i hope you bought them during 21 days of beauty girl because they they are really nice products i'm trying to put all this stuff back in this container as i go so pay me no mind Mm. I still need to do my lip combination video. I'm still trying to try a couple more lip products. Y'all don't understand how many lip products I be having, girl. Or maybe you do. Because y'all, watch if you watch my videos regularly, you know I be having a whole bunch of stuff to do. So I'm going to start off with some um, eye products. And then I'll go into the eyeshadow palettes. Because I don't have that many palettes, believe it or not. I have like one 
of the palettes that's on my lid right now in addition to some other palettes so of course we gotta talk about this Fenty mascara this mascara is amazing it's life it's giving um I love it I it's called what hella thick volumizing mascara I'm pretty sure this is a shade cuz I'm black cuz she always <laughs> comes out with a shade called cuz I'm black that's the deepest black shade she has and then she might have another black like other brands tend to do but yeah I am here for this mascara I'm so glad I got this little sample I'm trying to debate if I want to buy one during the sale but I think she had a 25% off sale on her website recently and then she did the 30% off but I didn't know how this was gonna be so I didn't rush out to get it but I have plenty of mascara so it's not like it's a need but I definitely will say that for a high-end mascara I am impressed so I have been using it and I will use up my little sample and then you know move on with my life and use two or three mascaras I already got to layer up because you know these gas prices are getting outrageous I hear these egg prices are outrageous so I mean like since these prices are outrageous girl I can't just be spending all this money on makeup next I have these uh, the Adept Cosmetics the Collective Waterproof Eyeliners I am obsessed with these there's two shades in particular I really love there's one called Biomimic Gel and then Sector 001 so I have Sector 001 on now that green eyeliner that you see that is the adept cosmetics one this is sector 001 is my most used one i am obsessed the best thing i did was buy that um mystery box just for these eyeliners do you hear me like when i run out of that shade i will get it now i'll show you what um bio gel looks like it's just a blue to um purple shifting eyeliner color so y'all know that's all me i, I love a blue a purple moment i love blue green and purple so it's like of course i would like these two eyeliners best because those are the blue green and purple ones she has in her collection but honey they're giving i'm living i'm loving them thank you so much so now since the eyeshadow palettes i've been obsessed with using quite a bit believe it or not again shout out to my girl dion loves makeup for sending this over to me if y'all remember i got my nomad video up the day that the palette went up because dion sent me her pr package from the brand so if you're interested in buying anything from nomad cosmetics you use code what everybody said together that we use code dion in this household so use code dion if you're gonna buy this palette or anything from nomad so now we open it up i love the jewel tone color story of this but i mainly love the fact that they gave us a whole roll of multi-chromes if you all remember they gave us one little multi-chrome in um the costa rica palette that they came out with last year and then they was like bam all the multi-chromes and i was like yeah Give me all the multi -crope. I actually have these two shades on my lid right now. I'm off the multi -crope from the Costa Rica palette. And this is one of the palettes I used on my eyes today. So this is the palette matchup that I had put on um, Instagram that you all said you really liked. So I just went ahead and recreated it for you. So, you know, it looks all nice and cute, you know. I tried, I tried to serve for a moment and give you um, a look with it. Because I do palette matchups from time to time now. Depending on how much you like the Instagram picture. But, yeah. I've been using the crap out of this, mainly the multi chromes, but I've been liking the dark jewel tone mattes in here as well for out of these shades with palettes that I feel like don't necessarily have enough depth for my liking. Okay, next I got the Electrum Sea Witch palette. Y'all, these multi chromes in here are amazing. The mattes that they chose. I feel like this whole palette was just created and curated so beautifully. So, like, I like to use it a lot. I like to use it in conjunction with another palette though. So I have that one here, of course. And I feel like you should know which one this is. I love Blend Buddy Cosmetics. Um, Maggie is just phenomenal at coming up with these color stories and the way she sets up the palette and the formula. Everything is just giving everything. So needless to say, I pair the Electrum Sea Witch palette with this one because I have like those tone in between tones I need to dust over the darker mattes in here, or I can darken up matte from this palette with this palette or vice versa is what I meant to say but yes honey it's just giving I'm loving it I'm loving the special shades in this palette as well and then you got the shimmers in this one because the shimmers in here are nice like this multi chrome right here is nice but like when I want some true fun multi chromes I'm like I'm gonna reach in this one and use it but I love the mattes in here and the way the color stories work together so beautifully so I've been using these in conjunction with each other a lot I actually have to film a palette mashup with this later on um tonight i think i'm going to try to we'll see i still got the multi-chrome challenge video i have to do from um what's that brand um ColourPop versus lethal cosmetics because i didn't get my juvia's place ones in yet so i'm filming that footage today swatching both of them side by side and swatching them on the eyes to see which one gives us the most impact for the price but those are all the things i had to talk about 
in my current favorites video i know right it's a million years long y'all know i'm long-winded and tell you extra stories about stuff that has nothing to do with what we're talking about but i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful let me know if you want me to include more fragrances and skincare and stuff like that because i was thinking about bringing my strawberry um glow recipe thing over here to pair with that but i figured just talking about it and since i've talked about it in the past would be enough but i can include skincare and other stuff in here if you're interested and just let me know but i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye